This is Julian, and today's book is The Slight Edge, Turning Simple Disciplines into Massive Success and Happiness by Jeff Olson. And the big idea in this book here is that in order to achieve success, it's not about doing this crazy, brilliant thing. You know, it's not about the dramatic action where you think, you know, it's like you just go against all odds, you know, defy all odds, and it's this one dramatic action that gets you there. Um, it's not about mastering, you know, this complex skill. Uh, it's not about having this, you know, innovative, disruptive idea that just changes the entire world. You know, it's like, how can I disrupt the world? Like, that's how I, you know, achieve success. Um, in reality, okay, if you want to achieve success, it's about mastering the small, simple things. Okay, and in fact, it's the things that are so simple, so easy to do, uh, they seem so insignificant. Like, how the fuck did this little thing lead to success? It's uh, those things there, okay, the things that people overlook that when compounded over time, create success. Okay, what he says here is that success lies in the compound interest of every little decision you make, every little action you take. Okay, that is the slight edge. When you hear, you know, don't sweat the little things, the little things are everything. Okay, it's a new way of thinking, a new kind of philosophy, enjoy. So I really wanna hammer this point home here. Okay, success is a process of simple positive actions repeated consistently over time. Okay, it's not this crazy thing, it's the simple stuff that you already know how to do. Okay, there's nothing missing, and this is big. Like, we always tend to think that in order to be successful, we need this superhuman skill or ability. Not really, okay? You already have it all, and you already know how to do it, okay? Successful people, they don't have anything that you don't have, okay? We're all cut from the same cloth. Uh, the more you hang out with them, and this is something that I'd highly recommend doing, uh, the more you can kind of see behind the scenes, the more you realize like, shit, you know, they're just like me, okay? Um, in a lot of cases too, you have a lot more going than a lot of those people as well, okay? This is something that I personally realized um, going to a Tony Robbins event, this like a couple years ago, is uh, Business Mastery. And this is an event where everyone pays $10,000 to attend, it's like five days. And uh, you meet a lot of amazing people, but at the same time, there are a few people who are there, who can afford to be there, who are extremely successful, okay, like from the outside world, who are, and it sounds horrible to say, um, very, very simple people. It's not the brightest people. Um, it's people where, you know, if you bumped into them in the street, you're like, you, you would never assume, like, whoa, that person, you know, is, owns their own fucking business and are killing it in terms of that area of life. You never assume it. And uh, you're looking around, and you're like, shit, like, you know, how, how, how did these people get it? Like, I, I would have never have guessed, okay? So there's nothing missing, okay? Um, everything that you need to get there, you already have, okay? It's the simple stuff that when you start doing those simple, easy things consistently, Okay, over time, they become magnified and yield the results that you want. Okay, that's the way success works. It's the law of compound interest. Okay, there is no big break. Okay, what he says here is that don't fall for the trap of uh, the quantum leap. Okay, don't buy into that. Um, this is something that our culture reinforces where, you know, I used to believe this, where it's like, you know, I'm gonna move to Los Angeles, for example. You know, when I was in Switzerland, I'm like, I'm gonna move to Los Angeles and I'm gonna have my big break. You know, it's like once I get to Los Angeles, everything will just fall into place and boom, I'm successful. You know, I'll just zip from point A to Z. I'll, I'll just arrive. Um, and a lot of people that I know, even back in Switzerland, that's what they're buying into. It's like, hey, you know, I know my circumstances right now are not ideal, but once this happens, once this day comes, uh, once I, move to the other side of the world. Once I do this, then I'll make it. Okay, now, funny enough too, um, if you're watching this and you might believe, like if I move to the other side of the world, you don't really need to move to the other side of the world. Okay, like with the internet, with the technology, it doesn't really work that way anymore. And uh, it just doesn't exist. Okay, success is not immediate. Um, on that note as well, failure isn't either. But you have to stop buying into it, um, that in worshiping the big break, uh, you know, we celebrate that dramatic discovery, the breakthroughs that just catapult, you know, a hero into a new place. Um, in the real world, it doesn't happen like that. Okay, don't fall for the seductive marketing tricks that sell you on that magic pill, that cure, um, that quick fix path to success. You know, it's like, well, when I do this one magic thing, boom, I make it. You know, what's the one trick? 
this is the, the thing everyone wants to know. It's like, if I could just hang out with a successful person, I'll see the one trick that they do and I'll just get there. Um, it really doesn't work that way. It's uh, not this random accident, it's not the lottery, okay? It's not like winning the lottery. It's those little actions consistently done over time that generate success, okay? And you're watching this, you're probably thinking, well, what about this one actor, for example, that went from a nobody to being an everybody? You know, it's like extremely famous. Like, that was a, a big break. Are you saying that that person didn't have a big break? And yes, okay, from an outside perspective, there are there is such a thing as like oh you go from like a nobody to a somebody but it's not this one thing that that person did um just out of the blue that catapulted them there okay if you look behind the scenes and same with many actors you can look behind the scenes you'll be surprised by how much effort work dedication practice um w went behind it you know most likely that person has been hustling for seven ten maybe 15 years until again all those little actions the law of compound interest generated what you call that big break. Okay, the more you look behind the scenes, the better. Um, look up all these actors, actresses, uh, and you'll see it's like a lot of them, for example, don't drink. A lot of them hustled hard. A lot of them moved from, you know, who, who knows where they're from to a place like Los Angeles and for many years just went through the grind of, you know, working at some little clothing shop, some coffee shop. I mean, that's fucking what I did when I moved to Los Angeles and it just went through the grind doing those little things consistently over and over and over started building momentum and then there's that big break okay and that's what catches the eye of the public you're like oh it's that glorious move um, but you don't see the behind the scenes okay don't get so distracted by the glory that you miss the source of success okay it's those boring little things done over and over and over and over and over again Okay, the same with, uh, you know, when I first started getting into uh, social interaction, success with women, teaching dating advice, um, people always tend to think, well, what, what gets the girl, for example, is this crazy thing you say or do. Um, you know, once I learn the trick or once I master that crazy move, then I'll get her. And it's like, no, um, it's the boring fundamental things done over and over and over again over time. You know, it's like it's the stuff that's, again, it's like, it seems insignificant. It's the stuff that's behind the scene, the stuff that nobody applauds, the stuff that doesn't stand out, the fundamental, like foundational things just repeated over time. You know, it's me going out and getting thousands upon thousands upon thousands of, you know, reference experiences of like social interactions under my belt. It's like, hey, how's it going? Hmm, maybe try it this way. Hey, how's it going? Hey, how's it going? Hey, how's it going? Is there anything magical um, about, hey, how's it going? Is that something that you're not able to do? Everyone's able to do that. You just do it over time, okay? So be realistic, you know, look at the work ethic, um, you know, Google again, like sober actresses, sober actors. Um, look behind the scenes, don't buy into this whole, you know, like way of viewing life where you believe in this quantum leap, the big break, uh, that just doesn't happen, okay? Be realistic and cultivate patience. Um, what he says here is that there's a certain natural progression in life, okay, where Let's just say, you know, you plant, you then cultivate, then you harvest. And uh, the way that we're, you know, kind of conditioned today is we go directly from plant to harvest. You have to learn, you know, you have to teach yourself how to uh, cultivate. You can't skip that middle part there. We're like, we plant, and it's like, where's the results? Where's the results? And we get frustrated when a few days go by and there's no final harvest. Um, so you have to understand that, okay, the secret of time, be patient. Um, success does take time, however, a lot less than you'd think. You know, let's just say right now, I tell you, if you do these simple things for three years straight, you'll achieve this crazy thing. You're like, ah, oh, that's three years. That's so long, but is it really that long? Um, if you look back three years, like look how fast that passed. It's really not that long. Okay, so understand the power and the secret of time and learn to be patient, learn to master the mundane. Okay, this is what I was talking about when I'm saying it's those boring little things, like the simple stuff that it's not the glory, okay, or the glorious moves that get you there. Um, you know, we don't live in a movie. This is something that he talks about where we're conditioned to watch, let's just say, a two hour action packed movie. And uh, of course, it's like everything's condensed down into two hours, which reinforces that, you know, it doesn't take three years. It's like you can do it pretty fucking fast. You know, you see the whole progression of a character going from a nobody to train to winning like the boxing championship within like two hours you know like 
two, three years of just like all that effort, all that hustle into two hours. And obviously you want to promote the stuff that stands out. You want to promote the drama. You want to promote those climax moments. And uh, you know, we're conditioned to think that's how you make it. And then we can't tolerate like the mundane. We can't tolerate those hours. Again, literally, you know, thousands of hours of just like practice over and over and over and over again to get there. We just want to jump to every single climax. So don't fall into that, okay? The real world, it's boring, okay? Now, in reality, it's not boring. It's boring at first if you're coming from this frame of being addicted to those climactic moments. Um, but again, your, your life, you're not living in a two hour movie, okay? And um, yeah, I mean, the stuff that gets you there, it's not flashy. It's not glorious, it's not you know, heroic, it's not dramatic. There is not all of this drama, not all of this excitement. Um, it's just you doing these little simple things every single day, okay? And uh, it's the things that are just really easy to do. Like that's how you get there. It's the stuff that are easy to do, but they're also easy not to do, okay? For example, let's just take um, getting on top of your diet. You know, it's like everyone knows how to quote unquote be healthy. Everyone knows how to get in shape. It's not magic, okay? It's not these crazy like secrets that people are, you know, hiding from you. We all know how to do it. It's like, okay, well, don't eat the big, you know, the Big Mac, don't eat the burger. It's not magic. We all know how to do it. Eat, you know, your greens instead, for example. Straightforward. D does that require like a crazy skill? No. But again, it's the stuff that's easy to do. Just don't eat the burger, eat the greens. But it's also easy not to do. It's like, well, what's another day of eating a fucking burger? Nothing. That's it. That's success. If you do this, say, for three years, instead of eating the burger, you eat the greens. You'll be healthy. <laughs> it's not magic. It's not glorious. There's no secret. It's just that little simple thing you already know how to do. You already know how to eat greens. Do it over time. And again, time, all those little decisions, those little actions compounded equals success equals health. It's not magic. So it's looking at every little decision. It all lies in those little decisions. It's like looking at all your little decisions and asking yourself, well, which one is going to move me towards my goal? That's it. That's really all that you do. If you get on, on an airplane, it's like, are you going to listen to some music or are you going to listen to an audiobook? Are you going to watch a movie or read a book? It's easy to do, it's easy not to do, okay? So start kind of looking at your life this way. Ask yourself if, you know, the past three years, let's just say every single day you read, you know, 10 pages of a self-help book. Just that, 10 pages of a self-help book for three years straight, where would you be now? You'd be a completely different person in a completely different situation. You wouldn't have to do anything glorious. It wouldn't be this dramatic thing. Just adding 10 pages every single day, that's it. You know, um, the same with diet. Just every single time, instead of going for the burger, just make the other small little decision. That's it. You'd be in a completely different place. And that's happening right now. Three years from now, it's your little decisions you're making right fucking now, watching this video even. With the decision you make while watching this or right after watching it, that'll affect you three years from now. So don't overlook these small things. It's the easy things that get you there. Just because they're easy doesn't mean they're insignificant. You know, if I was addicted, like, it can't be that. That's too simple. No, that's where, you know, success lies. That's how you get there. Um, the other thing, too, it's the things you do where the immediate results are invisible. And this is something that, again, baffles us because we want our immediate results. We jump from plants to harvest. Okay, it's like you'll, uh, you know, if you eat your greens instead of the burger one day, you're not going to see immediate results. You know, you're not gonna see immediate results for even a month or so. It's when you take those big chunks of time that you see, oh wow, you see all the, how all those little decisions, all those little actions added up. Okay, so big chunks of time, don't dis get discouraged if like the, the next day or the next second, you don't see an immediate result. So if you read 10 pages of a self-help book today, nothing's really gonna change tomorrow. But if you do it for three months, there's gonna be a huge difference, okay? Um, and again, reading these 10 pages, or ideally even more, but start small. Again, it's like the easy things um, will absolutely change your life, okay? It's like if you're not reading 
um, on a consistent basis, like on a, even a daily basis, uh, you are missing out. Like this shit here will change your life, change the course of your life, um, just change who you are, your understanding of the world, of everything. Like as a person, it's ridiculous. Okay, like start reading and um, start doing it now and start thinking long term. Not short term, long term. Okay, and uh, as I said before, it's the stuff that really, you know, just seems insignificant. Again, it's like, what's the big deal if I eat a burger or some greens? It's not going to change me. Yes, it will. Okay. Um, you know, skipping a day at the gym. What's one day? No, all those little, like, what's one day? They add up over time. Um, you know, skipping meditation. What's that really going to do? <laughs> Nothing immediately, but hey, over time, it's very significant. It's the only thing that is significant. Okay. Um, and uh, by the way, this is how you get to where you want to go in terms of being successful, but also not being successful. It sneaks up on you. Okay, it's those little things where, you know, you, like say you start getting in shape. Um, this happened to me where it's like I start getting in shape, I'm doing all the little things, and then I start, oh, I'm being healthy. And then I'll just stop doing this one little thing. I'm like, ah, it's not gonna matter, it's not gonna matter. And then over time, you start going down. Just that one little thing that was missing. Okay, um, so stuff to keep in mind. It's the easy things, okay? It's the stuff where there's not immediate results at first. It's the things that seem insignificant. That's what gets you where you want to go, okay? There is no big break. Um, value time, start thinking long term, and life is really not a lottery. We keep buying into that. It's not a lottery. Um, what he says here too, and I love this, is um, you know, ask yourself, why is it that um, say entrepreneurs, bankers, or, or anyone you'd consider financially successful, why is it that those people never win the lottery? You know, it's like always someone in the middle of nowhere, maybe working, you know, at a job like that they don't necessarily like, not making a lot of money, uh, who wins the lottery. It's never the people who are successful because they know that's not how life works. It's like we're not in this big break. You know, don't play the lottery. Life is not the lottery. And, um, Again, this slight edge, this way of thinking, okay, the little things, you can either take control over it, and it's happening right now in this moment, change all the little actions, decisions, or, you know, what do we usually default to? The path of least resistance, or what everyone else is doing. And everyone else, they're not necessarily going where you want to go. Okay, so you have to take that perspective, switch it up, and uh, to conclude here, I love this quote, time will be your friend or your enemy, it will promote you or expose you. Okay, that's the power of the slight edge. Okay, time, no quantum leap, no big breaks, the small little things, the little easy things to do, but they're also easy not to do, the things that seem significant, where there's invisible results at first, that's how you get there. Okay, and uh, the plus side, as I mentioned in the beginning of this video, is it's in your power. It's nothing that you're missing right now, it's nothing that you don't know how to do. It's just changing your philosophy, changing how you view success, changing uh, your way of thinking in terms of the path to success. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, check the comments below for the next book, and uh, as always, until next time.